Hi, I'm Jordan from Chatomize, and in this video, I will explain how you can connect Active Chat to Dialogflow and use Google's AI in your chatbot. So, what you will learn in this tutorial is how you can handle intents and set up a response in Active Chat, and also to handle entities with Dialogflow and use the values of entities inside Active Chat. So, let's dive into Dialogflow and you will see that I already created a simple dialogue flow agent with three intents. So let's say we're a pizza company and we want people to order pizzas with our chatbot. So then we have three intents, the fallback intent, which will come up if someone says a message that the chatbot doesn't understand, the welcome intent, this will come up if someone says hi or hey, and the order pizza intent. This is when someone says, I want to order a pizza or I want a veggie pizza, then it will say this. So if we go to this specific intent, then you will already see that I set up four training phrases. So it has, I want a pepperoni pizza, I want to order a veggie pizza, I want to order a pizza, and I want a pizza. So, and what you can also see, if you go over this, you will see that the pepperoni part is a topping. So I also created an entity, which is called topping and this has several values for example pepperoni we can add that one and we can add a new row and say salami for example and save it then if we head over to active chat we need to connect active chat to our dialog flow agent so if you click on settings and then if you go to the bot settings then you will see nlp engine and it is automatically set to intents and insight, but you can set it up to dialogue flow. And then you can click on save changes. Then once the changes are saved, you need to go to automation and click on dialogue flow. And then it says, it looks like your dialogue flow account is disconnected. So you need to click on login. And then you need to log in with your Google account, which is associated to your dialogue flow agent. In my case, this is the right Google account, and you will give Active Chat access to everything at once. And then if you go back, you just need to go again to automation and to dialogue flow, and then you need to select the agent. So in my case, it is named Active Chat Dialogue Flow Connection. So I will select Active Chat Dialogue Flow Integration. And then you will automatically see that ActiveJet creates a skill for each intent. So the intent order pizza has the skill DF order pizza. The welcome intent has the skill DF default welcome intent. So that's working. So if we go to skills and then go to one of the intents, so for example the DF order pizza, you will see that ActiveJet already created a standard flow for them. So if someone says in your chatbot, I want to order a pizza, you can set the text response to pizzas. So, and then if we click on run, we can test the chatbot. So it will automatically show the welcome message. And then if we say, I want to order a pizza, then it says pizzas. So that's working. So that's how you handle a dialogue flow intent in your active chat chatbot. But as you see in my intent, in my order pizza intent, we also have different entities. We also have the entity topping. So how do we handle that? If we go back, what we can do is we can make a switch. So we can create a new block and it will be other and then switch. And then we can say, the variable underscore NLP underscore entity underscore the name of the entity. So in our case, this will be topping. You can see this over here. The name is topping. So this is all, always the variable names NLP entity topping. And we will add the option veggie. If that's the case, then we will set up a message a new block, which will be talk and then text, and it will say veggie pizzas, and otherwise it will say pizzas. Then we can 
also add another option, which will be pepperoni. So we can add that option. If that's the case, we will say pepperoni pizzas. So if we click on run, and then we can test our chatbot, then if I say I want a pepperoni pizza, it will say pepperoni pizzas. If I say I want a veggie pizza, veggie pizzas, and if I say I want a the pizza, then it will say just pizzas. So that's how you also handle entities. So you can set up different entities, then you can just make a switch. If Dialogflow recognizes one of the entities, it will say veggie pizzas or pepperoni pizzas, and otherwise it will just say pizzas. So that's how you connect ActiveChat to Dialogflow and use Google's AI in your ActiveChat chatbot. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.